my name is Gavin Shaw. Uh, I work for Campbell Scientific here in Australia. And in a previous video, I showed you how to wire an AM1632 multiplexer to a data logger. Now this is the follow-up follow video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use shortcut to create a CR1000 program to measure the sensors that are on that multiplexer. All right, so it's, it's all gonna be done in shortcut. So let's move over to the computer and I'll show you where to go. Okay, so I'm going to start off by opening up PC200W. And I'm going to open shortcut. There's the icon for it, create a program via shortcut. And then I'll start a new program. So I'm gonna click this new program button. I'm using a CR1000, okay. I'm going to make my scan interval 30 seconds because I am using a multiplexer for this program. These AM1632s have a mechanical relay inside them, or they have many mechanical relays, and they have a limited lifetime in an amount of clicks. So we recommend at least 30 seconds for your scan interval. So click OK there. Right, so here's my sensor selection screen. I'm going to be measuring thermocouples. So whenever we measure thermocouples, we need to make sure that we are first measuring a wiring panel temperature. So I'm going to fire, find wiring panel temperature under the temperature heading. At that, I'll leave the default name. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to add my multiplexer. It's at the bottom of the sensor list. It's under, the, under devices. There it is there, the AM1632. So I'll select that, click the add button. It's been added on the right hand side here. You'll also notice I now have two tabs under my sensor list. So I can swap between the two tabs. If I choose the CR1000 tab, then whatever I add from this list will be added to my CR1000 wiring panel. I'm gonna choose the AM1632 and then choose a Type T thermocouple. Now when I add this, it will be added to the multiplexer instead. So I'll click the add button. I have wired three thermocouples into my multiplexer, so I'll change that number to three. And click OK. Now I have some options to do with the thermocouple measurement itself. I'm going to leave all of those as the default, the name and the temperature range, and click OK. So I can see here I have three thermocouples added underneath my AM1632. Right, that's all I'm going to add on this screen. So I'll click Next. I'm not going to play with any of these data tables. I'm just going to leave the data tables as the default that Shortcut chose for me. We have another video uh, on YouTube, uh, an introduction to PC200W and Shortcut, so be sure to check that out to find, a bit, find out a bit more information about tables. I'm not going to cover those here. I'm just going to click the Finish button. All right, I'll choose a name for my program so it can be saved away to my hard drive. I'm going to call it multiplexer.scw and click Save. The program is asking me whether I want to send this to a data logger. No. Instead, I'm going to have a look at this wiring diagram shortcut on the left-hand side. So this wiring diagram area is telling you all the wires that you need to connect your AM1632 to your CR1000. Now we have another video uh, on YouTube, Multiplexer Wiring. There I will take you through this wiring. So if you haven't seen that yet, be sure to watch that after this video. This summary here tells you how to wire your CR1000 to the multiplexer, and this next tab shows you how to wire your sensors to your multiplexer. So I've already wired all this up, and I'm ready to send this program over to my data logger and just check on the values to make sure it works. So I've closed down shortcut, and I've headed back to my PC200W main screen. I'm going to connect to my data logger, there we go. Choose the Send Program button. Yes, I don't mind if the data from the previous program is deleted. Find my multiplexer.cr1. That's been created using Shortcut. And click Open. All right, my program has been successfully sent to my data logger. I'll click OK there. Right, now I'm gonna head over to my monitor data tab. I just waited there for the next 30 second mark before I went to monitor data, just to make sure that my data logger uh, had some time to make its first measurement. And there we are. I can see some numbers in my temperature measurements. So my program must be doing what it's, it's intended to. 
Okay, so that's how to use a shortcut to create a CR1000 program to use an AM1632 multiplexer to measure some thermocouples. Now, if you missed the video on how to wire up the multiplexer for this example, have a search on YouTube. It'll be called multiplexer wiring video. Uh, and that'll show you how to wire it up for this exact example. Um, if you're not too familiar with PC200W, also have a search for our PC200W beginners video. That's also on YouTube. And in the coming months, we're going to try to put together some more videos to show you how to measure different types of sensors. I was using a thermocouple here because it's nice and simple. Uh, in the future, we'll have some more videos to show you how to measure things like CS616 um, soil moisture sensors, uh, maybe some different types of temperature sensors so that you can find your sensor in the list. So check back later and I'll see you next time. Thank you.